Well, we are in Lucknow and here the visual that you see, this is a 500 kg GP bomb and to speak more about it, to walk us through more about this entire structure that is here, we are joined by Balesh who heads the project, he understands the project, he works with it, he also works with the new machines also that have been built at this very facility. Sir, my very first question to you would be this structure that is here my very first question would be that and to our viewers who are watching on television what is this basically it's a 500 kilogram of gb bomb can you explain our viewers what this is actually this is a 500 kg uh, bomb cell and uh, we get the order from the different de defense companies and we manufacture the bomb cell for this kg and more than the bigger one also and we have developed this this basically in our facility and uh, it is capable for caging the 500 kg ammunition and uh, uses for the defense uh, 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 forces. And we've we have developed the entire, basically, which is a very special system to manufacture this. And fortunately, we have the system and we have, to, because it is a single part, we have to uh, uh, cast it. And uh, further, basically, the, like the special tapers and the design is very special, special the angles are very special. So we have the capability to manufacture the bump cell, not with this and the bigger one also. Okay, so, so this is not the bigger one, this is the basic one you're this saying? This is the basic one actually and uh, slowly, slowly we are developing basically for getting the order for the bigger one also. But definitely we have given the confidence. So how big are, are we looking at? Because this is 500 kilos. So if you're talking about bigger, how bigger are we talking? Till now basically I've seen this, but uh, the bigger one capacity is something around 800 kg. Or, uh, but uh, at the point, but this is about the main actually the key because most of the order belongs to this part and we are supplying. And also, there are four facilities right now here, right? Four facilities, among which this is functional and this is operational, and the rest are under manufacturing. Yes, actually, uh, we are here going to produce the titanium metal which will be used by the aerospace industries, and uh, till now, basically, India doesn't have this kind of titanium metal facilities. And uh, we are very uh, first private company in the India uh, to manufacture to produce the titanium metal, which is being used in the for the aerospace companies as well as the defense. Whatever you see, basically in the aerospace, all the uh, aircraft, aircraft engines. Even the titanium is used in Brahmos. Yes, in the Brahmos also, basically for the defense, because it's a lighter in weight and the strength is quite, quite, quite more strength than uh, stainless steel and all that. So. We are going to basically first stage because all the Indian companies who want to participate in the manufacturing of the aerospace castings, they want the material and uh, unfortunately earlier the material was not here but uh, with the, given the lot of facilities by our government and now we are especially I will thanks to Mr. Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh basically who has just uh, taken a much interest for basically to develop this in the UP Defence Corridor. And we now we are able to produce first of the basically on the upper focus on the metal. Then slowly, slowly, already uh, in a 10, 12 kilometer far from here, we are having casting plant. But more the five or six times bigger than the casting facility, we are going with the, basically at the adjacent of this plant. And further because uh, most of the companies want uh, the titanium in different, different form like bars, like seats, like slabs. So for that basically we are... Uh, just going to put another plant, basically adjacent plant, that is a say ATL titanium forging plant, then further uh, titanium powder plant, powder metallurgy plant, many more plants are basically coming to cater the basically Indian aerospace manu uh, component manufacturer. So we could cater our industries, Indian domestic industry as well as the international. And uh, since big, uh, last so many years basically, uh, we are given the parts to the uh, like uh, Dassault or uh, British Aerospace Engine, which we say BAE and Saffron is our basically uh, already is our customer, and many more actually basically Israel Aerospace Engine. So these are our future customers, and some of the basically already there are customers because we are giving titanium for getting the material from outside, uh, from uh, importing the material to make the casting. So we are already in ca existing in casting, but now we are going to basically uh, support to all Indian. Uh, components manufacturer for giving the titanium metal also basically in whatever form they want basically we are developing the facility to cater the titanium metal.
Thank you so much, Mr. Balish, for speaking to us. So yes, viewers, that was Balish who spoke to us exclusively for NewsX and spoke about the entire mechanism that is behind us. And not only that, how India is growing as a defense superpower. This is me, Brian Anthony Thomas, signing off with Camera Person Dinesh for NewsX Lucknow. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.